This video demonstrates the procedure for removing and replacing the turbine impeller and mechanical seal. The impeller replacement kit comes with an impeller, an impeller key, an M8 by 12 socket set screw, a cover O-ring, two M8 by 75 set screws, and two four thousandths of an inch or 0.1 millimeter feeler gauges. The seal kit includes the dynamic element, the static element, the cartridge lip seal, and all of the O-rings for both elements and the cartridge. You will need a metric Allen key set, a metric M10 socket drive key, a torque wrench, a pair of external circlip pliers, a soft mallet, a small flat screwdriver, and a short piece of one and a quarter inch schedule 40 pipe. It covers eight cap screws. If required, take two of the screws to the tap jacking holes. Remove the cover. Please note that the cover is a very neat fit into the body. Do not use excessive force to remove cover. If the cover gets stuck, gently rock loose or gently tap loose with a soft mallet. Remove the O-ring and discard. With a clean rag, wipe the O-ring sealing faces. Lightly lubricate the new O-ring and fit to cover. Ensure that the O-ring is properly fitted. Loosen the impeller socket set screw. Use the two M8 screws that come with the kit as jack screws if required to remove the impeller. Remove the impeller key from the shaft. Remove the circlip. At this point in time, you can remove the dynamic element only by removing two of the cartridge screws and fit these to the back of the dynamic element and use as extraction screws. In this video, we are going to de demonstrate the removal and replacement of the entire seal. Remove the four cartridge seals. Screws. Fit two of the screws into the tapped holes in the cartridge and jack the cartridge out.
dynamic element and a static element from the cartridge. Remove and dispose of the cartridge O-rings. Fit a small screwdriver or punch to the holes in the back of the cartridge and tap gently to remove the cartridge lip seal. With a clean rag, wipe clean the inside and outside of the cartridge. With the lip facing out, loosen and fit the new lip seal into the cartridge. Using the one and a quarter inch pipe as a drift, gently tap the seal into the cartridge. Ensure the lip seal is properly seated by looking at the back of the cartridge at the extraction holes. Fit the smallest O-ring to the static face and lightly lubricate. Without removing the protected cover, fit the static face into the cartridge. Remove the protective cover and clean with non-residual contact cleaner or similar. Fit the remaining O-rings to the cartridge and lubricate the O-rings and lip seal. The small cross-section O-ring goes to the back of the cartridge. Lightly lubricate the bore of the bearing housing. Aligning the four holes of the cartridge to the tap holes in the bearing housings, fit the cartridge into the bearing housing. Fit the four M5 screws with Loctite 243 or similar and tighten the seven mint leaves. Remove the protective cover from the dynamic element and clean the face with non-residual contact cleaner or similar. Lightly lubricate the internal O-ring and put a couple of drops of light machine oil on the dynamic face. Aligning the dynamic element pin with the keyway fit to shaft. Loosely fit the circlip to the shaft.
Using the one and a quarter inch pipe, snap the circlip into place. Ensure the circlip is correctly seated. Rotate the shaft such the keyway is in the three o'clock position. Fit the new key to the shaft. To set the impeller clearance, tape and place the feeler gauges at the 9 o'clock and the 3 o'clock position. It is very important that the feeler gauges are aligned with the key and 100 degree, 180 degrees from the key. Loosely fit the socket set screw into the impeller with Loctite 243 or similar. Fit the impeller to the shaft. While applying even pressure to the impeller, tighten the screw. Gently remove the feeler gauges. If the feeler gauges are difficult to remove, gently tap on the shaft on the opposite side while pulling the feeler gauges. Note that the word in aligns to the body inlet port. Again, one of the bolt holes is one and a half degrees out of pitch. Do not force the body into the cover. Again, do a final check to ensure the O-ring is properly seated. Fit all screws to body and tight. Torque all eight screws to 100 newton meters evenly. PSG, where innovation flows.